and I welcome everyone. I hope everyone had a nice Thanksgiving and it's good to see everybody. I missed you. So as you begin to get comfortable in Shavasana, just begin to let go of what came before this moment and what will come after and just settle in to the present moment just feeling the back body resting on the mat, perhaps lifting your head an inch or two off the mat and gently replacing it. And just beginning to notice your breath, just being an observer, watching the gentle inflow of air and the outflow. Just noticing perhaps cool air on the inhalation and on the exhalation, you may notice that the air has been warmed by your body. You might just focus on the rise and fall of the chest and belly, just keeping your attention there in rhythm with your breath, or you might choose to count on your inhales and exhales just to keep the focus on the breath, the rhythm of the breath. Or you might want to say, I inhale, I exhale, but whatever you choose, just focus on the breath for a little bit. And with each exhalation, allow yourself to release and relax, being fully supported by your mat and the earth. And so our focus this morning is going to be on staying present and being in the moment. So I'll remind us as we move through our practice to just ask ourselves the question, are we present? And meaning, are you, you know, focused on your practice or are you thinking about what happened yesterday and what's going to happen later today? So, you know, kind of concentrating on this moment. And, you know, we have this practice. We have to practice bringing ourselves to the present because our minds want to think and our minds want to plan. But if you're fully present, I think you can have more gratitude for life because you're noticing what is happening rather than moving on automatic pilot. So, and remember it's a practice. So we do it without judgment. Just every so often during the day, if you can just pause and just notice using your five senses is a really good way to come into the present moment. Noticing your breath helps you come into the present moment. So just follow your breath for a little bit more, a few more rounds. And then as we begin, when you float your arms up over your head in a moment, 
take a nice big inhalation, nice big deep cleansing breath as you float your arms up. And then exhale it all out. And do that again. Take a nice big inhalation, the big deep cleansing breath. And then exhale it all out. And before we come into our full body stretch, let's just scan our body from crown of the head down to the soles of our feet. Just quickly scan and notice how your body is feeling as we begin. And we're just making note of how our bodies feel without judgment. So just almost like you're observing your own body, just seeing where there may be tightness or tiredness or achiness and just noticing. And now we'll bring our body into a nice stretch. So stretch out through your fingertips, down through your chest and abdomen, your thighs and out through your toes. Just stretching, bring some tension to your body and now hold that tension. So holding the tension, holding, holding the tension, holding, holding, and then release and let your body just melt and sink and be heavy onto your mat. Now this time we'll clench our fists and flex our feet. We'll stretch and squeeze the fists. You can even squeeze your facial muscles, squeeze your shoulders up towards your ears, bring your belly button in, squeeze your glutes, your thighs, flexing your feet. And let's just hold that tension. Holding, holding, holding the tension, holding, holding, and release and be completely soft and relaxed on your mat. Take another deep inhalation in through your nose, out through your mouth as you settle the body, floating your arms down by your sides, We'll bend our legs, placing the soles of our feet on our mat, then lifting our feet off the mat, placing our hands on our kneecaps, and we'll push the knees away as we inhale. And on the exhale, instead of drawing the knees straight in towards your chest, bring the knees out wide towards each armpit, nice and wide and loose. So that's on the exhale. Inhale, the knees away, push the knees away. Exhale, bring the knees nice and wide and loose, each knee towards your armpit. Push the knees away on the inhale. Exhale, knees wide. Push the knees away, inhale. Exhale, knees nice and wide. Bring the knees together and begin to make small circles on the ceiling with your kneecaps. First go one way, and then as you're ready, reverse your direction. And then place the soles of your feet on the mat and we will just windshield wipe our knees from side to side, just gently, just as we begin our practice. So inhale to center, exhale to drop both knees to one side, inhale to center, drop the knees to the other side. And just continue with this gentle motion using your breath. Noticing if you're gripping or holding in your facial muscles or in your neck or shoulders or in your hips or belly. 
and just allow the body to relax. And the next time your knees come to center, bring them to stillness. We'll take the left ankle and place it on top of the right thigh. And then we're going to lift the head and shoulders up, clasp behind the right thigh and send the sole of the right foot towards the ceiling. And then we're going to draw that thigh, the right thigh towards our chest on our exhale. Just opening up our left hip. Relax your shoulders as best as you can. If they become too, you know, tight or tense, just rest your head back on the mat. Just use your breath again, drawing the right thigh in on the exhales. And then release the right foot to the mat, uncross the left. Take the right ankle on top of the left thigh now. Lift the head and shoulder up, clasp behind the left thigh. So bring the left foot off the mat and then send the left sole of the foot towards the sky and draw the left thigh towards your chest on your exhales. Try to relax your facial muscles and shoulders as best you can. And then release the left foot to the mat, uncross the right. Walk the feet in towards your bottom Interlace your hands and place them behind the back of your head. Um, gaze to, or look down at your knees and see that they're hip width apart. So your feet are close to your bottom and your knees are hip width apart. And I'll use the block here. I'm just going to place the block between my knees just to kind of stabilize them, but just ideas for us in the future. And we'll just do some um, lifting of our head and shoulders up towards the sky while engaging our, our core. So bring the belly button in and up. And I'm going to squeeze the block with my thighs, but without a block, just press your feet into the mat and then we'll uh, lift our nose, our head and shoulders towards the sky and replace our head back on the mat. So just little sit-ups. It's not a big movement, but we're lifting our chest towards the sky. Uh, we're not pulling with our hands. So when we lift, we exhale and then replace the head down. So we'll just do this at our own pace and just do it mindfully not tugging on your neck or your head, just lifting. And elbows are out wide. So feel the crunch um, in your abdomen. We're kind of lifting up towards the sky. And of course, if anything is not comfortable, um, you can just do a gentle stretch with your arms up over your head. Um, no need to do anything that doesn't feel comfortable. Or you can even bicycle your arms and legs. And when you finally finish with these crunches, float your arms up over your head. 
just to release your lower back. And remember, this is not a competition. It's all about listening to your own body. Some days you might feel like you have a little more energy or not. So listen to your own body. And then once you have um, come to stillness with your arms up overhead, you can just rock the knees from side to side again, if that feels comfortable. And then we'll float the arms down by our sides. And we're going to come into a flowing bridge. So we'll walk our heels up towards our bottoms. And then we're going to press into the soles of our feet and into the backs of our arms. And we can actually make our arms be like goal posts. So we'll bend at the elbow and send our fingertips towards the sky. So our arms actually look like an L. Each arm looks like an L. So we're pressing into the back of our elbows into the soles of our feet. On an inhale, lift our hips up towards the sky. On the exhale, roll down slowly. And then press into the soles of your feet, the back of your elbows, lift your hips up towards the sky. So a gentle bridge. We're not doing anything too tough here. <laughs> and then lower the hips and then on the next inhale lift your hips up towards the sky roll down slowly and we'll do that one more time inhale lift the hips up towards the sky press into the back of the elbows into the soles of the feet and just hold here for a moment and on your next exhale come down Bring the knees into the chest and rock from side to side. And then we'll make some circles on the ceiling again with our knees. Small circles to massage your lower back, medium circles for the mid back, and nice loose big circles for the shoulders and the upper back. And stay with any kind of circle that is working for you. If your lower back needs a little more attention, then continue with your small circles. And then at some point, reverse your direction. And are you present? Are you in this moment? Are you noticing how your back body feels as you're making these circles? And are you allowing your breath to flow. So we want to be aware of our breath because oftentimes we hold our breath and we want to be aware of our bodies. So noticing our breath, noticing how our body feels, noticing the temperature of the air around us, the amount of light we perceive in our room, just noticing will help you be in the present moment. Now we're going to bring ourselves up to seated. So come up in your favorite fashion, whether you turn to your side and push yourself up, or if you bring your hands behind your thighs and lift your head and shoulders and rock yourself up. So whatever feels good for you. I'm going to sit on my blanket, on the edge of my blanket. And remember, I mentioned to you, if you sit on that very edge, so not sitting up on top of the blanket, I mean, you can, but what we want to do is bring our knees down towards the earth a little bit. So if we sit on the edge, it helps the knees to kind of release 
down. So, but whatever is comfortable for you, of course. Okay, so let's bring the soles of our feet together for Baddha Konasana, and we'll interlace our fingers and bring them on top of our toes. And we'll just lift up through our heart center. So we're sitting up nice and tall. And we'll just sit here for a moment, perhaps closing our eyes, noticing how the breath is flowing. Sitting up nice and tall with a tall straight spine. And then we'll drop our chin to our chest, even with your eyes closed is nice. And then just roll your head gently around, mindfully noticing how your head and neck is feeling. And keep the breath flowing. In any place that feels a little tight or needs a little extra, um, just toggle your head back and forth in that area. And at some point, reverse your direction as you're ready. I think sometimes by closing our eyes, um, we can be more aware of the sensations. And as you're ready, you can come to stillness. Perhaps looking up now. And exhaling, dropping your chin to your chest looking right and then coming to center and looking left, coming back to center, dropping your right ear towards your right shoulder, just gently inhaling to center, drop your left ear to your left shoulder And then we can come to easy pose, Sukhasana, so just crossing our legs. And we will do some shoulder circles, so bringing our shoulders up towards our ears, back and down. So just go at your own pace and just move your shoulders in circles. And then reverse, reverse your direction. And then we're going to come to a little twist here. So we'll send our legs out long in front of us on our mat and sit up nice and tall, tall straight spine. Bring that left knee in towards your chest and take the right arm, either the elbow crease or the hand, the right hand, hug that left knee into your chest and then send your left fingertips out in front of you and then follow the fingertips as you move them around, 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 all the way to the back of the room and then bring the fingertips pointing towards your hip as you look out over the left shoulder. And if the neck doesn't permit, you can look to the side. <sighs> And then release slowly back to center. Send the left leg out long. And then bend the right knee. Hug the right knee into the chest with the left hand or the left elbow crease. Sit up nice and tall. Extend your right fingertips in front of you. And then move them slowly around. Follow them with your gaze until you're looking out towards the back of the room and then bring the fingertips in so that they're pointing towards the chest, uh, towards the hip. So 
sorry, and just gaze out over the right shoulder. Keep the breath flowing. And then release slowly back to center. We'll make our way to our knees to table. Just bring, bring the uh, wrists underneath the shoulders and the knees underneath the hips. Spread the fingers nice and wide and we'll come into a nice flowy cat here. So press away from the mat as you round your back up towards the sky. Bring your belly button in towards your spine on the exhale and then push back so that you're sitting on your heels. You're getting a nice stretch down the side body. Drop your elbows, come forward on your inhale as you gaze up and gaze forward, belly button down towards the earth. And then exhale, round your back, press away from the floor with your hands. Sit back on your heels, drop your elbows. And so we'll just continue this flowy cat at our own pace. Keep the breath flowing. Are you present? Do you notice how your body is feeling and how your breath is flowing as you do this? And then the next time you come up, um, you can come to stillness and table again. And we're going to bring our left hand towards the center of the mat as we pivot the left foot off the mat and then send the right leg out long, press into the mat with the sole of the right foot and then inhale the right arm up towards the sky. So fingertips pointing towards the sky, gaze up at your thumb, push away from the mat with your left hand And if your neck does not permit, just look straight ahead. And then exhale, bring the right hand down to the mat, come back to table. We'll rainbow our hands around so that we're facing the other way on our mat. We'll bring our right hand to the center of the mat, pivot our right foot off the mat, Send our left leg out long this time, press into the sole of the feet, foot, sorry, and then inhale the left arm up towards the sky as we gaze at our thumb, our left thumb. Press away from the mat with the right hand. Exhale, bring that left hand back to the mat. Come back to the center of your mat and then curl your toes under and come up onto your toes. And from here, you can rise right up into Tadasana, just coming to standing. Or if you'd like to come into Malasana, um, you can place the uh, soles of your feet on the mat with the toes pointing diagonally away and then press into the inner knee uh, with your elbows for malasana. And some people, their heels don't come down. It's not comfortable for the heels to touch the earth. So you can put a blanket if you know that's you. <laughs> put a blanket under your heels. So this is a nice release for the lower back. And so I'm just pressing into my knees with my elbows. And then we'll use the strength of our legs to slowly come up to standing. So we're going to come into a little balance here. We'll 
practice tree pose. So we're going to bring the weight of our body onto our right foot. And we can take the left heel and bring it in towards the right ankle and stay just like this for tree. If you'd like to bring your foot to your calf, you can come to tree in this way. If you'd like to bring your foot into up to your inner thigh, you can do that. Or my comfortable pose for me is to bring my foot on the front of my thigh. So we'll just come into tree like this. You can find a focal point, something that's not moving to gaze at your drishti. Try to stand tall. Think of that right foot. Think of the right foot as having roots. And come down whenever is comfortable for you. And we're doing, we're doing our balance without judgment because we know some days we're a little more able to balance and then some days, but it's, it's good to just practice. So we'll bring the weight of our body onto our left foot. Again, if you want to just bring your heel, you're still balancing. Bring your, your right heel in towards your ankle or to your calf or to your inner thigh or you know, whatever is comfortable and just practice. Try to extend through your crown. So you're standing nice and tall. Engage your core, relax your shoulders. And come down gracefully as you, as, as gracefully as you can. We're going to come to uh, warrior two now, a little bit of a flow. So we'll spread our feet wide on our mat, turn our right toes so that they're pointing to the short end of the mat. Back foot is parallel. Just, I'm just finding my stance. So find your comfort. Stand up nice and tall, engage your core. Inhale your arms up so that they're parallel. Extend the fingertips away from each other so you're getting a nice stretch. And then exhale and bend the front knee, keeping that right knee over the ankle. And gaze out over your middle front finger. Relax your shoulders. Check in with your shoulders. Are they up near your ears? If so, relax them away. Keep the breath flowing. And we'll inhale and as we exhale, float the arms down to our thighs and straighten the right leg. Inhale, bring the arms up and bend into that front knee. Exhale, straighten the front leg. Bring the hands down. Inhale, see if you can bend a little deeper, a little bit, as you bend the front knee and bring the arms up, up parallel. Exhale, straighten the front leg, float the arms down. Last time on this side, inhale, float the arms up, bend the knee. Exhale, float the arms down and straighten the front leg. Bring the feet parallel, turn the left foot towards the short end of the mat. Okay, back foot is parallel. Inhale your arms up parallel to the earth. Exhale, bend the front knee, gaze out over that middle front finger, relax the shoulders, engage the core. Press into the big toe mound of the front foot, the knife edge of the back foot. Exhale, straighten the front leg, float the arms down. Inhale, float the arms up, bend the front knee. Are you present? Are you focused on your body making these shapes? Exhale, bend, 
Straighten the front leg, bring the hands down. Inhale, bend the front knee, arms parallel to the earth. Engage your core, bring that belly button in and up. Exhale, float the arms down and straighten the front leg. Inhale, bend the front knee, straighten the arms. I lost count, so we're gonna do it just one more time and then we'll hold. Exhale, straighten the front leg, float the arms down. Inhale, bend the front knee, straighten the arms. Gaze out over the middle front finger. And just hold here for a little bit, but keep the breath flowing. Exhale, float the arms down, straighten the foot, bring the feet parallel and then bring the heels in. We'll come into goddess before we make our way down to our mat. So frame the face with the hands in like goalposts. On the exhale, bend the knees and sink the tailbone towards the earth. And the knees want to push away from the center and sink the tailbone down towards the earth and engage your core. Exhale, straighten the arms and legs. And then inhale, bend the arms, bend the knees and sink the tailbone. Inhale, straighten the arms and legs. Exhale, sink the tailbone, bend the arms and legs again. Inhale, straighten the arms and legs. Bring the feet, heel toe, the feet together. Before we come down to our Shavasana, just come into a nice Tadasana. So remember how we do that. So we rock from side to side, feel the earth under all four corners of our feet. We lift up through our instep, through our kneecaps, through our thighs. Engage our core, extend through our crown, bring the shoulders up, back and down, dangle the arms comfortably and notice how you feel. Take a nice big inhalation in through your nose and out through your mouth. We'll inhale our arms up towards the sky, interlace our fingers as we make a steeple with our index fingers, and then exhale, bend to one side, feel the stretch down the side body, inhale to center, exhale to the other side, feel that nice stretch, inhale to center, turn the palms away, as you float forward, press the front of the calves as you come up for a flat back. Exhale, bend the knees generously. Place the hands on your mat, come down to your knees and make your way to Shavasana. Once, once you arrive in Shavasana, take a nice big cleansing breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. And notice how your body is feeling, perhaps lifting your head an inch or two off the mat and gently replacing it. So in Shavasana, our a comfortable way to be is to have our legs spread wide on our mat with our toes pointing to the edges of the mat and our arms away from our body with the palms facing up. 
and just release the back body onto the mat. Let the shoulders be heavy. Let the arms be heavy, the back body, the back of the legs. Release any leftover tension you may have. Allow yourself to melt into your mat. And just bring your attention to your breath. Be in this present moment. Just watch the gentle rise and fall of the chest and belly. And before I ring my bowl, just taking a moment to thank yourself for making the time for this practice, which will nurture your body, mind, and spirit, and bring you closeness in our community, our little yoga community together. So I'm going to ring my bowl. I invite you to stay just as you are, if you'd like, or gently push yourself to seated, bringing your hands to your heart center. May you enjoy bringing yourself to the present moment periodically throughout your day. Namaste.